I believe in a deep responsibility to steward the environment. Our planet is in peril. The mandate is very clear. Every new project needs to be part of the solution. 555 Greenwich is just one of Heinz's first steps to help reduce carbon in the built environment. It will not just meet the city's ambitious 2030 climate emissions goals, it will exceed them. This project surpasses all of the Local Law 97 and the Climate Mobilization Act requirements and really shows the way forward for all of us. This project really started from the ownership perspective with our partners, Trinity Church and Norges, who are both long-term generational owners and think not just about the near-term opportunity, but our responsibility for the environments where we're operating. This was formerly a one-story parking structure. It was adjacent to an existing building, 345 Hudson. Everyone started coalescing around this idea of completing 345 Hudson. So creating this 1.2 million square foot complex, creating this ground scraper, and it was an opportunity to do something kind of new and innovative. Mike Izzo was a construction manager on this project. He had always been very vocal about his interest in decarbonization, and it aligned really well with our joint venture partners' interests. And so through his efforts in tandem with JBMB, our mechanical engineer, and Cook Fox, our design architect, really advocate for creating a sustainable system for both 345 Hudson and 555 Greenwich. Norges Bank, the Sovereign Wealth Fund in Norway, introduced us to someone within the Nordic market to give us the expertise and understanding. When we went to go visit a climate neutral city that was built in 2007, I really felt like I was stepping into the future. If you build a climate neutral city in 2007, and I'm there in 2020, that gave us hope. When we came back, we went through a detailed design process, both with our design partners, but also external partners helping us along the way. We focused on creating a circular energy infrastructure similar to what we saw in the Nordics. For me, one of the most important stories of 345 and 555 was the holistic approach. So while any one technology in the building may have been done before, it was the unique combination of all of these technologies together that makes this building completely unique. The first gesture was an all-electric building, no combustion of fossil fuels in the building. This building can affect heating and cooling using a very environmentally benign material called water, which moves through piping in the radiant floors. And there's chilled water and hot water that's available to every space all year round. That hot and chilled water comes from electric heat pumps up on the roof. And then, Benefiting from the deep foundations that exist in this part of Manhattan, where there are concrete pillars that go way down deep into the earth to hold the building up, we've embedded tubing inside. So now we have these geothermal piles in the earth that can store energy. Summertime, when we're taking energy or heat out of the building, we're putting it into the ground. In the next season, when we're trying to heat the building, we're taking the heat energy out of the ground and putting it into the building. Another thing that I love about 555 Greenwich is not just the sustainable qualities from an environmental perspective, but also the focus that we've put on the environment for the tenants. This building has 70% more outside air delivery to the space than the current code requires. So that means that the tenants sitting in their offices are breathing in fresh air from the outside as opposed to indoor recirculated air. That makes a big difference in the quality of your day. What was wildly unique about this project is the long-term vision of ownership. When you have Trinity, who has three centuries of stewardship of resources, you have Norges, which is a steward of a nation's resources, and you have Heinz, who's been multi-generational steward of resources, your platform for discussion is fundamentally different how is this building going to move into the future and impact future generations? Which is very different than an immediate return. And that is the core of sustainability. Are you thinking about multi-generational impact?